Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install 6.61 custom firmware on your PSP, but using any kind of Android device. Right guys, so you will need these four things. Obviously the PS PSP itself and your Android device. What I've got here is just a USB to USB type C adapter so I can connect my phone to my PSP. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just connect this into my phone. I'm then just going to connect this to my phone and then to the PSP. Right guys, so once everything is connected, you want to go ahead and power on your PSP. Right guys, so on your PSP, you just want to scroll across until you get to the USB connection. So you just want to press X on that. Now your PSP is going to try and connect to your Android phone. Right guys, so on the Android phone, you just want to swipe down from the top. Um, on mine, I can select the option. So I, want to, I just want to tap this one here. As you can see, it's on power supply. We don't want it on power supply. We want it on file transfer. So I'm just going to tap that and then just head to always. And then do use always. And now the PSP and my Android phone are connected together. Right guys, so on your Android phone, you just want to head over to Google Chrome. I will leave the link in the description. This is the latest 6.61 Pro C2 custom firmware. So what you want to do, you just want to go ahead and tap the download button. The download is now going to start. As you can see, it's a very small file. The download will complete in several seconds. So now you just want to go to your home screen. You want to open something like ES File Explorer or just any kind of file explorer. I think ES File Explorer is probably the best. Then you want to head over to your download folder. Here it is, 6.61 Pro C2. So what you want to do is you just want to select it, then go to the three dots, then go scroll down to, should be copy to, here it is. As you can see, it's selected my PSP up here, but you want to just select it. So mine's called storage. I'm just going to select that. Then you just want to hit OK. As you can see, copies files successfully. Now you can just head over to your PSP's files. Right guys, so once you've copied this across to your PSP, what you want to do is just hold it, then go to the options, and then just do, um, just go down to extract to, and just do current path, and then just hit OK. As you can see, it's just going to extract all of it. So it says successfully, what you can do, you can just go to PSP, game, just check all of the custom firmware files are in there. Then you can just go ahead and delete this. Right guys, so once the files are copied across, you can just come out of USB mode. Now you can just scroll along until you get to the game folder. Scroll down onto your memory stick. As you can see, here are all the update files. So what you want to do first is just run the pro update. On this part here, you just want to press X, then press X again. Now you can just scroll along into your system settings, scroll down into system information. There you go, 6.61 Pro C custom firmware. So make sure you're on 6.61 before installing any of this stuff. Um, because this is a PSP 1000, I can actually run the um, CIPL flasher. Only run this if you have a PSP 1000. So that's 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. Any PSP after that, this won't work. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that. Basically what this does, it just makes the 6.61 um, C2 um, just permanent. So every time I take out the battery or do a hard reset, the custom firmware will always be on. So as you can see, you can press X to install CIPL. So I'm just going to press that. Done, restarting in five seconds. Okay, so that should be it. Now we can just scroll across to the system information. And there you go, 6.61 Pro C. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Um, I've got tons of other t PSP tutorials you can check out if this is the first video you're watching of mine. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.